Hey wizard, so I'm looking here at PancakeSwap V2 and there are nearly a million pairs that can be traded on there. And if I go to ApeSwap, there's only 3,581. But one thing I'm noticing is if you run a scanner looking at ApeSwap, looking at those tokens and comparing it to what's on Uniswap, you find arbitrage opportunities. And it's quite interesting. So you'll notice, by the way, at Crypto Wizards. There's a tool here called Flash Gap. You wouldn't have seen it before because I literally put it up just before recording this video. And this replaces TriScan because no one cared about TriScan. So we've replaced that now with this Flash Gap tool. And the whole idea here, in fact, let me put this into dark mode. The whole idea here is that somebody could just execute a flash loan without needing to do for a combo, without needing to know programming, etc., on the Binance Smart Chain. And they should be able to do it with any provider that uses the Uniswap V2 code, which PancakeSwap V2 does, and so does ApeSwap. And so this has been really interesting because, you know, when I showed you before in the other video, like this works, I can, I can execute flash loans from here. In fact, I don't think I showed you one um, that went through, but I can ex execute flash loans fine from here. When I try to do it from MetaMask, I think it's still too slow, so I'm still working on that. And just bear in mind that there's a big warning up here. This is this is halfway through development, so just please use this at your own risk. But what I'm going to do is just connect here to my MetaMask. And when I do that, as long as I'm connected to the Binance Smart Chain, both of these should be green. If you're not connected to the Binance Smart Chain, i.e. you're connected to Ethereum, you'll see this yellow thing here. Just go and add Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask. You can just Google how to do that. It's, it's really straightforward. Now there's two algorithms that are running in parallel. Uh, actually there's four. Two of them I'm not showing on here yet because I've run out of time. This development takes a ridiculous amount of time. But there are basically two algorithms that are shown here. One that is scanning through the highest traded pairs on PancakeSwap and then seeing does that pair also exist on ApeSwap and can I arbitrage it? So that's one. The second one is doing the opposite. It's running through ApeSwap and seeing, you know, can I find opportunities of, of, of these that are on ApeSwap also on PancakeSwap and is there an arbitrage? And then the sticker here is just showing you what direction the arbitrage is in. So it's finding it, it's better to buy on PancakeSwap and sell on ApeSwap. And actually, funnily enough, it doesn't matter what page I look at, almost all the time, not always, but almost all the time, I'm seeing that the arbitrage opportunities are to buy on PancakeSwap and sell on ApeSwap. Really interesting. Uh, just some information in case you found that useful. So the reason why I'm loving this tool compared to say something like Arbidex over here is you'll see Arbidex takes time, right? So if I select an arbitrage opportunity, it takes time because it's using Web3, et cetera. There's not just one smart contract it's going to that just does everything on the blockchain and returns a result. So you can see sometimes like when the Binance smart chain is slow, this takes like this takes a while. Sometimes it's really quick. You'll come on here, be really quick. And other times like now it's really slow. But what you'll see here when I'm looking for an arbitrage opportunity is it's really, really fast, like, like really fast. And even though these aren't triangular ones, trust me, those are also really fast. So you'll see here on PancakeSwap, that algorithm, these tiny percentages, they're no longer there. But if I go to the ApeSwap one and I search these, you'll see that all of a sudden arbitrage opportunities start appearing. This is all new to me, by the way. Like, it's funny because when you're developing the back end, I've had this data now for like a week and I didn't notice this. But it's funny when you actually build a front end, you start to interact with the data and you start to see like where where are the opportunities and how things how are things working? And so this second tab seems to be quite fruitful, seems to have some potential arbitrage opportunities. So for example, here's one. Um, this is from about 20 minutes ago, I would say. This one is far more recent. So the time now in British Standard Time is nearly 3 p.m. And here it says nearly 2 p.m. And this is because all of these operating UTC. So this is basically two minutes ago it's found this one. 
But here's a big one, right? 1.954%, that's huge. So that tells me using about $1 what the arbitrage is. But what I can do is I can just go, oh, I can estimate the gas as well. So the gas will probably cost about 85 cents. But I can actually bring this up. So if I click on this flash trade button, it actually brings up uh, like a ticket. And you can paste in any factory addresses you want to. I mean, this will pre-populate it for you if you're not into coding and contracts and addresses and all that stuff. But it, you could paste in anything here and go and click check. And it'll go and check an arbitrage opportunity for you. And you can see how utterly fast that was. And it's because of the new smart contract that we've deployed uh, now on Binance Smart Chain, which is really cool. So you can go in here, paste in any factory addresses and then the token A and token B address. So, you know, here's the factory address, uh, sorry, uh, factory for PancakeSwap. Here's the one for ApeSwap. And you can see it's from this exchange going to this exchange uh, with these two tokens. And here, if I run check, it'll do it in seconds. Let's say I want to check $100 worth. And it says no arbitrage found. So I know I can't check $100 worth. And what's neat about this is it's really quick. It actually, I don't have to mess around with trying to guess what value of W, B, and B do I need to put in? Now, a lot of people might not struggle with that, but let's say it's a token like, I don't know, <laughs> moon coin, whatever it is, right? I'm not going to say safe moon, don't worry. I just did, didn't I? Oh. So, you, you know, you won't have to guess. You can just put in the US dollar value worth of that coin you want to trade and it'll calculate it really quick, which I really like. Now, the other cool thing about this, but this is where I'm struggling with the tool and this is where you need to be really careful, right? This is where it's just not quite right. When I go and hit trade, it sends the transaction through MetaMask. I'm going to go and confirm that this is on mainnet. This is not testnet stuff, right? So I've just confirmed that transaction. And here it is. It's given me the transaction address. So I can go and check that transaction. If I go to BSC scan, uh, I'm just going to punch it in there. And it's still going through but this transaction will fail. And it's not because the smart contract for the flash loan doesn't work. And by the way, just to confirm here, going back to this, this did not send $50. This borrowed $50 as a flash loan, $50 worth of WBNB as a flash loan. And that's what just happened here, right? So this is a flash loan being executed. Now, this won't go through and this is why I keep getting the same error coming up. And I think it's something to do with the time it takes for the instruction to be sent and signed and MetaMask to then be going uh, approved by a human. I think that's what's causing this issue. If you are a coder and you have any experience with this issue here and you think you might know why and what's causing this, please put it in the comments. I'd be really interested, interested to hear from you because I've been racking my brain. I've been trying different things. I'm using my own money here to test this. And it's just not going through. Now, the problem with this is I've just risked to make $1.65. And I've just lost this 65 cents because that's the cost of the gas, right? And I know a lot of you will say, hey, try Polygon, etc. But because there's no gas on those platforms, I'm seeing far fewer arbitrage opportunities, right? So the reason I'm using BSC is because it's right in that sweet spot for us. That's why I'm using BSC. It's in that sweet spot. Um, but the gas here, you know, costs money. And so, you know, just be careful. If you see an opportunity, don't rely yet on the platform. I am working on this, but don't rely on it yet to execute the flash loan because I need to still be developing here, figure out why these are not going through. They're working fine when I do it, you know, with my own private key. So when I put in my own private key and I'm doing this through code, it's instant. So it just goes through. When I do it with MetaMask, it seems to not work so well. So again, if you have an experience, let me know. But the point here is this is really good for just checking opportunities. Like it's really, really, really interesting and it's really good for doing that. So for those of you who have gone through the trading execution course um, on Udemy, you know, you could use the knowledge you've gained to actually go and execute this stuff through the code. Uh, and so all I did here is I took the same code you know, I created a script trial.js connected through Web3, just like everything we've learned in the course. You can see it all here, punched in my addresses, connected to Web3. You know, you paste in your private key, execute whatever smart contract you deploy. 
But the whole point here is I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to make it so anyone can access it through the platform. So anyone can just go and read smart contracts and write to them. Now the read part is working fine, but the write part using MetaMask for some reason isn't. So I'm working on that and that's just how it is. Here's one for ontology, is that right, ontology? Now again, if I try and do it through the flash loan, I'll just check it here, um, 0 0.12. Let me see if it'll work for like $50, probably not. Oh, it does work. If I go and trade this here, which I'm just gonna go and do, um, and I shouldn't have, by the way, because this uh, 0 0.282 possible profit is actually less than the gas fees it would have cost me, which if you go back, you'll see those gas fees were like 85 cents, 65 cents or whatever. Um, so I shouldn't have traded this, but I just want to show you it's not going to work. I predict for you, this will not work. Uh, and it's because of this flash loan contract with this MetaMask. And I cannot, for whatever reason, get PancakeSwap to sign off on uh, the transaction timing. So for whatever the reason is, I'm working on it. But just know if you go and do this, you're going to lose gas fees right now. So I will post a different video here. I'll post a different video on YouTube once that's resolved. Here, pancake router expired, same issue. You'll see it keeps coming up. But that said, there are arbitrage opportunities popping up here. And I have got triangular ones as well that I just need to pipe in. It just takes a long time to develop this into the front end and make it interactive. Literally, it's taken the whole week. So, you know, I can't work on that right now. I've got other project stuff I have to work on next week. But just note that I will be adding that in there very soon at some point. You'll have the triangular arbitrage opportunities as well. So I just want to be clear again what these two tabs are. This one here, these two algorithms are running in parallel. One is starting by looking at the most traded coins in PancakeSwap, and then it's finding these opportunities. The other one is looking at the most traded coins on ApeSwap in parallel and finding the opportunities. And then this is the one that seems to be bringing up some actual arbitrage opportunities between those two exchanges on the Binance smart chain. So I think this is really cool. I'm in love with it. I think it's almost my favorite app. My favorite app is still Zscore and not next week, but the week after I'm going to be adding in um, or looking to add in the daily uh, searches here because we got a lot of pre-screened um, statistical arbitrage opportunities here. These are on hourly. I'm going to be adding in daily, etc., and some other stuff to really just take this to the next level. Please, uh, just final word, don't sign up to Crypto Wizards. Don't sign up to Crypto Wizards for this tool, especially. The only reason you should sign up to Crypto Wizards is if you're trying to gain an edge in your trading, you understand, you know, the concepts now from the videos on statistical arbitrage, because this is, I mean, this tool in itself is worth signing up for. But you know, you're here for the free education or the downloads or whatever. You want to be a part of finding an edge in trading. That's why you sign up. Don't sign up to Crypto Wizards because you think you're going to get rich from arbitrage. I know I say this a lot, you know, just don't do it because you're not. This is highly competitive. This is for, you know, wizards or nerds like me who love the stuff, who are trying to find uh, that little bit of extra in it and share it with a small private network. That's what Crypto Wizards is. It's a small private membership network of crypto traders who are looking to get an edge. Do not sign up unless you're one of those people and you understand that you might get zero. In fact, this tool might even cost you gas fees. In fact, right now it does. If you do know how you'll go and execute on these opportunities, then great. Um, you know, go and do it. Anyway, I hope you found this insightful and interesting and useful. Let me know how you would plan to solve that issue in the comments if you do have an answer for it. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep working on it. And until the next one, take care and talk soon.